Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Schneever Early, a craft doctor. And look what I got in the mail. My new Addy machine. Um, I got this from eBay. <clears throat> if you look on Amazon, they're $352 now. And they had some for $300, but those listings are gone. And so I went on eBay and got this one for... $250 plus $15 shipping, so I paid $265, um, and it was new. Um, it must have been a demo, I think, because they said it was not used. And when I took it a loose, everything was wrapped up and everything, so I don't think it was um, had been used. So I got a new one for $100 less than what I would have gotten it for. I got to turn the mic on. I hope that was that minute was get to turn his mic on. Okay, so <clears throat> the difference between this one and the other one is um that this machine has uh 20 46 needles. Discombobulated, y'all. I got to turn my lights on too. I'm like, why is it so dark in here? There we go. So it's 46 needles as opposed to the Centra is 48 needles, which means this is a lot tighter. Those two needles do make a difference. Um, if people tell you that, no, it really don't. Yes, it do. It makes a difference um, because the it makes it those two needles uh, wider. So what I have discovered is... Um, if you hold the tension right, you still can get a nice hat and it fits and everything. Um, I've also heard some people say, no, it doesn't fit. It are too tight. Um, if you put it in this top tension, it's less likely to have a problem um, because this is a looser tension than the bottom one. And if you look in here, you can see the guide that goes there and then it comes down here. Well, you can stop and put it up here and that tension will be a lot, lot, lot a lot lighter okay so um you wind it on the same way let me back this up i like this one because it also has a counter it's here the counter is there but it's a manual counter this is the newer version because the counter is manual not that digital one because i would never have a counter if i had to rely on that because i have a problem with buying batteries so this is the yarn i'm using this is the michael's white this is the michael's white and then this i just ordered from michael's i ordered eight of this dark blue and this is red heart super saver in um color soft navy is the is the actual color so I bought eight of these and then I bought an, another eight of a different blue because this is for the hats and I hate um, program. And I'm training people on how to make the hats with the machines, um, not this weekend, but next weekend. So probably by the time you're actually seeing this, that's when I'm teaching them how to do it. So I really wanted to see how this Addy held up compared to the Centra. So let's make a hat. Okay, so black needle, and then, of course, you know, you put it frontwards and backwards, frontwards and backwards. Um, the flow of this is very smooth. I can tell the difference between this machine and my other one, definitely, because this one is so much smoother on the turns. It do do a boop. You hear that? Well, you probably couldn't hear it. But there, it do do that little boop when you get to the black needles, but that's because it's it's catching the row counter. Okay, so you put that in there, make sure it's caught by that black needle, and so I'm going to bring you in, move this over, and I'm bringing you in so you can see it catch those needles. So here is my thread here. Okay, so I'm holding it right here because I'm helping with the tension. And then the winder is right on the side. And I, I 
I'm pulling out because I just made these into these big cakes with that winder that I showed you. Um, the one thing that um, this machine didn't, it came with um, the things to hold the feet clamps. But I really don't ever use them. Like they, it, it comes with the feet clamps. They have to send them to me because they didn't send it to them me. So they're sending them to me, but I haven't used them and it hasn't really bothered me not to use it. I just hold it down with my hand. So my hand is, I'm, it's right here. I'm holding it. And so you see the needles catching. You can see the needles catching. And I'm holding my thread. As you can see, I'm holding my thread. And I want you to hear that boot when you get to the black needle. Hear that? The row counter changing. The little boot. See that? Okay, so then I'm going to back you out. Because, backing you out. I purchased this drill. This is the drill that I use, and I have these batteries. I have these in a 4 amp, and a, this is a 1.5. I bought the adapter from Jillwin. Uh, it's spelled J I L I N W E I on um, YouTube. This drill, I got this drill, this the drill itself from Amazon. You can buy, if you have these batteries already. You can buy this drill, the tool only, for $39. I didn't get the, I got the regular drill. I did not get the, um, there's another, there's two drills. And I, I got this one instead of the other one. And the other one was called, um, I don't remember. But make sure you get the one that's the, the drill and not the other one. And then, <clears throat> If you can tell, it's a drill. <laughs> so it's too high. It's too high. And I don't want, I can't, I don't want to hold this up. So what I did was I grabbed my stand. This is my stand. I got this on Amazon for my iPad. And it's really strong. So what I do, let me push you this way so you can see it. I stand up. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Okay, so this is what I do. Let me move this out the way. Put this to the side so I can move this over. I normally work on a folding table at, in my living room, not in my craft desk because I don't have no room for it. Okay, so I click that on there. I take my drill and I lay it down. See, I angle this right here so it can hold this drill up. I also have a box that is this can raise up, but since I realized this work, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> However, whichever way you want to do it, I'm going to get a three inch box that's a 12 by 12 by three, 12 by 12 by three, and that will lift this up for this 1.5, but I will need a 12 by 12 by, I think six to do the four amp battery. But the one amp battery has been working. But with this like this, it works perfectly. It's laying against here. This is strong. If you can hear, see that it's heavy duty and it's right connected. So I'm not holding that drill, making my arm hurt. Okay. And then I just go real slow when I first start. And then I'm still holding my thread right here. You can speed up. And see how you can hear the boot. And it's not loud. You can kind of hear how smooth this is too. Very smooth. And so all I'm using for pressure is my thumb right there. Every so often, I'll stop, get a drill of rest, 
and then I'll start back. Most of the time I don't do it on that speed because it works, but you may get a slip stitch and I don't want that. So I ease my finger because this will do it. It'll let you power down and up and go slower or faster. Um, you can also, if you don't already have a Rorobi, go to Home Depot and you can get the Rorobi drill for $60, something like that. I got a second one only because I'm teaching someone how to do this. And I want them to have a drill when I show them how to do it um, after I show them how to do it with the spin. The first time that I teach them how to do it, I will, I'm just, look how smooth this is. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, this is so smooth. This Super Saver really is good on this machine. I haven't seen such a tight weave. Whoa, that is beautiful. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Um, Nice fabric. Um, I'm teaching them how to do it. I must do the very first hat that they make, they're going to use their hands to power the turn. And then I will bring out the drill and say, so there's an attachment that goes to this, and this is how you do it. And so this is, I've gotten to 34. And so at the 34 point, I want to change colors. I'm only going to put about five rows of white. Um, I'm only going to put about five rows of white. Um, and I'm just doing this because the hat has to be at least 75% blue, but doesn't mean it has to be a hundred percent blue. So the front will be all blue. The back, which will be the double sided reverse will be blue and white gives them some uh, um, options. If you see, I tie mine off. I used to do the lay down and stuff, but I always have a slip stitch when I do it that way. So I just come in here and I tie it off myself because you're going to end up tying it off anyway. And then I run it one time. Why are you? Oh, I got a knot in there. I'm, about to say, I'm like, what's wrong with this? I didn't see that knot. Okay, I got a knot right here and I got to get it out. Whenever your, your machine sticks, sticks or gets stuck, that means there's something wrong. So stop. Don't keep going because you may cause a problem or damage your machine. Okay, so see, I'm just going in there and I always like to do whenever I add a color that's two three that's actually three right there four what I, I like to do is I like to crank a few rolls myself so I was going to put five, but I think I'll do 10. So that's four. And I always wind them into cakes before I finish, only because it's just a little bit smoother to me. I like the smoothness of pulling it out the cake. And then I can put them back where they belong without my problem. So this is what I do. I tie a knot uh, in them. So I always do uh, red over blue, and then I do, I mean, white over blue, and then I do I mean, I do blue over white, then I do white over blue. Gives you a square knot. 
and then I cut it close. And I also use Fray Check. God, I forgot to buy some. Oh, I didn't go to Joanne's. I can't. I thought I, I thought I had some Fray Check, and I thought I bought an extra. I thought I bought the two pack, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where I put it. So I have to buy some more before my class because everybody needs to use the Fray Check. I put Fray Check on all of my knots. All of my knots. And if I think I might have a slip stitch somewhere or a drop stitch, I put some fray check on that area. And I do that on purpose because I don't want it to drop. And if you have that there, that's kind of some protection. I don't know what I did with that extra bottle. I'm almost positive I bought the double bottle, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to have to find it. Okay, so now we're at 50 rows. And so I'm going to go up to... 200 no <laughs> 120 so i'm gonna put my baby back on here and i'm gonna lay it back in its cradle of sort and it's level and we're gonna get started again and this hat's not whoa didn't mean to do that <laughs> this hat's not hate um project it's coming along very well. I've done some call outs for people. And the fact that people want to learn how to make them, learn a new skill just to help it is wonderful. I've had people who want to donate money to it um, for the program and everything. So I think that is wonderful that people would like to um, be part of this project. And I want this to be a, a yearly thing that we do. Right now we're starting with 6th and 7th grade in the middle school. Um, we need 350 hats, and I've done almost 50 this last two weeks. So I know that number is obtainable because we won't be turning them into October. We'll be wrapping them, tagging them, um, putting information in the bags for them. Um, and I, I'm sure that we'll get other people to help. Okay. So if you can tell this, the fabric is, is looking really good. Um, the, the actual, that white keep glaring out. Okay, so when I get some in here, I like to turn this over like this. I seen this on a YouTube video and it helps to add weight to pull that down. And so you're not, um, you have, you don't have to put clips. It's another way not to put clips. And I normally have something resting underneath my arm so I'm not holding my arm in the air like that. If you can see my arm over here. I'm not holding my arm in the air. But if you have to hold it in the air, it's not that bad. This this process is taking me all of... I'm at 1822 totally so far. And I'm at 74. You can see that four. And every time you see that black needle jump around there, that's when it's switching and doing the count. And it's this yarn, this yarn is came in the Super Saver and it's 364 yards. And I should get at least three hats out of this if I mix it with other colors. Maybe two if I don't, but at least three if I do and have a little piece left over. And see, you see that? Look, it's really looking good. It's really looking good. Oh, that's that's where I put on a new thread, okay. And the inside is, this is the right side. So you can see it looks good all over. It's looking good. Okay, let's keep going. We're at 85. And we're going to go to, we're going all the way up to 120. This 
is this little machine. It it's not it's helping my arm, and I mean the drill is really helping. The attachment fits great, and it, this machine is very smooth. I do see why it's more expensive, even though you can get the other thing done with this. But I do see it, it is smooth. It is a smoother machine. And this is called the Addy Express King Size. I'm at 105 now. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Okay, we're at 108. Don't forget, give your drill some rest, even though it's not hot or anything, but I give my drill rest. And if you don't want to tip it like this, just get something that's three inches tall. I actually use my Anna Griffin box, but everybody don't have that, so that's why I didn't use that. This thing here is accessible online. It's just a stand, and it's spelled N-U-L-A-X-Y. Let me see. Let me go on Amazon right quick and see I'm at 21 minutes, even though I'm still fooling around. Um, see how quickly you can make these. This is the N U L A X Y laptop stand. Okay, I think it's this one. No, it's not that one because um, it's the laptop, not the cell phone. Okay, next way I can look for it is my orders, previous orders. And then I'll search orders, N U L. A X Y. Okay, that's what I got. That's uh uh. N U L A X Y. There it is. It's the A five. Come on, there we go. This is what it looks like. It's the A5 tablet stand, and it was $12.99 in black or in silver. That's what it is. And it's, this is how to spell it again. N-U-L-A-X-Y, and it's the... A5 tablet stand, $12, okay? So then you don't have to worry about lifting this up. And you can use your, okay, I'm at 111. And you can use this for your other machine also because this one is shorter than that machine, but you still can use this tablet holder to do what you need to do. Because um, with, the, I think even with the tablet holder, I mean with the other machine, you don't have to do lift it so high because it's really shorter. It's, this one is shorter. Okay, we're at 219, 220. Okay, and then I take this out. I give myself a length of yarn. They say wrap it around one time. That, I just feel that that's just a lot of yarn. So I don't. I don't do that. You could. I don't. You may need to when you first start out anyway. Okay. And then I bought this little box from Michael. You know, in the dollar 99 cent bin. It's just a pencil box. And it has all of my stuff in there. My fray check. My scissors. 
and all the stuff that comes tape measure so you can measure your length um because you might need to my what do you call this thing needle threader okay make sure you take this out make sure you close this back because if you turn it with that open you can break a needle and i use a big darning needle i buy them the two pack i just bought another pack because i need to teach it if i have more than I, I need my own i don't like to share but i keep everything fitted in this little case okay so we're gonna put that out the way and so now it's time to take this off of the machine so this is how i do it and i showed you how to do it before you go into the one that your thread comes from see that let's see if i can pull you a little closer oh yeah i can pull you a little closer and i'm going right in there and i'm grabbing it and i hold these down i hold it and the reason why i hold it is because i don't want it to pop up when i'm sticking my needle down in there because it will pop up on you just like that one popped up on me you seen that so i'm just going in there and grabbing it but i got my thumb on this one on this side because it just popped out on me and some people roll theirs all the way around i don't do that and i don't do it because they'll pop off on me and i know they will because they have and so i had to start all over again because one popped off on me see if I can get a better angle if you can see I'm coming in right here and I'm grabbing it it's put my finger back down there I'm grabbing it some people grab it from the top some people grab from here I, I haven't perfected that I can only grab it from the back I can only grab it from here And you're, what you're doing is called casting off. You're taking this off of your work. See, you're putting your needle in there. And you're taking it off. And if you can see this. Come on, camera. There's little dips in there where the needle dips down right there. You see that? That's where I'm sticking my needle. And when you're doing this, you can really see it better. Okay. And I'm only at 28 minutes. And I've stopped and I've looked up stuff. And I've untangled thread. Did I even... I wind the thread just before I got on here. I cast it on so within 30 minutes which I'm I'm down to about 20 minutes now depending on if I stop and do stuff because I always stop and do stuff in the middle um because I, I have I don't have a one track mind I have multi tracks a bunch of stuff going on y'all know it's how it is stop oh my god I forgot to or somebody call or something mm. I'm sorry I took y'all off the screen Hold on. my keyboard is in the way I'm not trying to take y'all out the game I want y'all to see it
in there and in there you gotta be careful what you grab but i will show you a quick fix on that too when i finish taking this off this only takes a um, a minute if so when you're not talking and you're concentrating because you're just grabbing and if you could tell some of them i'm just grabbing more than one on that same needle mainly because once you get the hang of it you can pull off instead of doing this every time Okay, so I'm at 30.51, so that's 31 minutes. And in 31 minutes, you can have a hat for your family. Or if you want to make some extras, send it to uh, DM me. So you will be able to join us in our mission to collect 350 hats, which as soon as we get to the 350 mark, and if we have time, I'm going to add the high school, which I think, I mean, eighth grade. Okay, so let's pull this back back I said back so this is where I did that add on piece in order to get your stitches you straighten this all out and you pull you're pulling your stitches together okay you're pulling your stitches together pulling your stitches together so you're gonna pull this way to pull your stitches together and you're going to pull this way to pull your stitches together. And that's locking them stitches into one another. Okay? And then I'm going to take this and I'm gonna pull. And so all I did was pull. You see we have that stray stitch right there? That's because I pulled it when I was taking it off. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be in your way. This is what I do. I'm going to bring you down to me. So you see how tight that is? What I do is I go in a circle. I go around this. I go around it. Where am I? Here. I go around the circle so I can lock in the center to keep it tight you don't have to go into every one but you got to do you go around at least one time with most of them okay there we go and you see that extra stitch here that extra long one i just go in it and i'm making sure that it's still locked tight see that so my hat is pulled tight this is the center and then I go across, I go across, and then I, I kept this, this is me going across, and I put my hand in the middle, because that makes it lock, that locks it in there, it puts a knot in there, okay, and then I go sideways. And before I pull it out, I hold it and put my needle through there and I pull and make a knot. And then I take my fray check and I put a dot of, of fray check. I just put a dot on it. That's it. You don't have to put that much because I made my hole bigger yesterday because I had let it close. So all I'm doing is just keeping that needle in there. You don't even have to do that. That's just what I do. And I flip this over because you want your needle to stay in there. So I'm going to back you up so you can see what I'm doing. You want your needle to stay in the inside because you, you don't have to stick it in there because guess what? You're going to pull this. I'm pulling by the needle. See that? I'm pulling this out by the needle. And I'm joining them, or I will be joining them up. See that? So then I put that over to the side. I take this thread. This is the piece that you laid around the black one. 
the black needle. And you're going to make sure that this is all tucked in just like that and pull. And so it's tight and that circle is closed. Okay, let me bring you up to it. And then what I do is I take this needle off. I match these two and I cut it a little shorter because it's too long to work with right now. And you're not going to need all this. You're going to end up cutting some of it anyway. And I toss that. And then I thread this through both needles, through both ends, uh, both pieces of yarn through that one hole. And now I'm, I got a grasp of both of them. You know what I didn't do? This. So once you grab both of them, tie them. Because now you're tying that bottom one to the top one. Even though you haven't wind your thread yet, I do it beforehand. I don't know if other people do it differently, but I try to do it beforehand. Because now that's connected to the one on the bottom. And get your yarn in there. And if you can't get it in there, get it you a needle threader. Because this is some thick, thick stuff. And then get in, go around in your circle. Go around in your circle. See, I'm not trying to catch every single one of them. I'm just trying to catch them. Because I got to make sure that I pull this tight. Pull it tight. So if you've seen that, you can see you see my cinch up. And then I go across and back. I'm still holding my finger in there because I'm going to lock that in. And you can't see this in the hat. You can't see it when you, or, you know, after you put it together that I've got a knot there. And I put a braid check on that. Now I still have my um, yarn in the needle. I go in underneath I go in underneath back and forth because what I'm doing is I'm anchoring this hat to each each side to each other and I'm trying to go close to the middle as I can okay and then when I think I've done enough I take it and I make another knot and all you're going to do is Stop it from closing and put your needle through that hole. And you're going to cinch it up and make a knot. And then I add some fray check to that knot. And if your needle come out, just put it back. My needle comes out all the time. Just put it back. And then I go down back to the other side because I'm trying to make sure that this is don't stick your needle all the way through because you want to come through the center or close to the center oh, I'm getting tired I took my booster shot today I'm getting tired and then after you've done that several times this is what I do. I take this needle and I got the bottom piece of the hat separated from the top and I just pick a spot. And I come out after I've pulled 
it all the way through. I pull. Then I cut off my thread. And I do that to leave some extra slack in there. So you won't see this. See how that's sticking out? Where is it? Oh, it went up in there. <laughs> because I don't want it to be sticking out. And so, and then I let that be out. Okay. Put these back in my container. Then I just, I shake out my hat and I stretch it out because I'm helping to lock those stitches in like this and like this, like this. Then I turn it over and I do the same thing. That, that is my... This, this is what I was talking about. I don't want that not to be showing. So for this, I'm just going to turn it and put it on the inside. On the inside. This was a knot in this thread. I didn't do that knot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in between there and I'm going to add some fray check. Just to give it some reinforcements. So now you have a nice thick wool hat. And when you turn it over, you can either be without the white or you can turn it over and you can show your white. See that? Quick hat for the babies. Some people, some of the kids won't even wear it double with the rim. Some will wear it like this and make it a slouchy hat. And you got that white trim. Look at that. Super cute. Super cute. I love it. All handmade. And this is for the Hats Not Hate project. So please make sure you get my email address and email me and let me know if you want to be part of it. Um, and this is my demo of my new Addy machine and one of my Hats Not Hate hats. And Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver works good on my machine. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next one.